on America East on campus. The curtain comes down on the regular season in basketball. Now two tournament champions will be crowned. We'll look at what to watch for in men's and women's hoop and who's ready to take a starring role. Champions crowned in the pool and at the track. We'll show you the highlights. We'll profile twin sisters who are used to running up front. A main runner who's made himself into one of the best in America East. And at best of you, a standout on the court and in the classroom for UMBC. It's all right now on America East on campus. It was another great pink zone day for an America East school. This time the University of Hartford participating like they do year after year. And this year the pink zone game raised more than $5,000 for St. Francis Hospital and their breast cancer research programs. And with that, we welcome you to the latest edition of America East on campus. I'm your host, Eric Fried, here at the University of Hartford, where it is tournament time. The 2011 America East Men's and Women's Basketball Championships taking place right here at the University of Hartford, presented by Newman Zone. So let's get right to it. The very latest news as the regular season comes to a close. After being selected fifth in the preseason poll, Vermont was on a mission, and they've accomplished a great deal, winning the regular season championship. The winning formula? Proven veterans, having career years, and new players contributing right away. Our seniors are all having their best, se their best seasons, which is what we really want in our program. Um, and I think, you know, the younger guys really get along with our older guys. And uh, sometimes you got a lot of new guys, a lot of older guys. There's kind of a rift uh, between them. But our guys really are, you know, all about winning and uh, they all get along great. So um, I think that's nice to see and that's one of the reasons that we've been successful. A late season charge by Boston University has the Terriers on the short list of tournament championship contenders. Led by John Holland, closing out his senior year on a roll. We just got to move along with this team. We have enough talent. Um, we got a lot of young guys playing, but we got to get them ready. As your freshman, the great quote is, they become sophomores. And you hope that in February, they become sophomores. After surging to the top of the standings, Maine started sliding backwards in the second half of the conference schedule. Can they get on track in time? We knew coming into this month, we're going to have to continue to play better basketball. And you know, unfortunately, we just haven't been in the rhythm that we were in a little bit earlier on. Guys keep coming to practice, working hard all the time. And, uh, you know, we're going to uh, continue to do that as we go throughout. we got to do a better job playing defense. That, that's certainly been something that uh, we haven't been able to keep as consistent as we were earlier on, uh, along with our rebounding. And, uh, you know, if we can start with those two areas uh, and really continue to work on our offensive execution, we feel like we can get ourselves back on track. But, uh, you know, certainly we got to play every possession with urgency. There are a handful of teams hoping to play the Cinderella role. Can Albany do it? What it comes down to this year in particular is matchups. Uh, you know, I don't think there's a team in our league that we don't want to play. Uh, but what happens right now outside of uh, Vermont and Boston University, uh, there's a cluster. And I think uh, what you want to do is position yourself to get one, the best seed you can, but also it really does come down to matchups. We might match up better with a team uh, with a winning record than a team with a losing record. And that's why I think this conference tournament is going to be so interesting. So many questions heading into the tournament. America East TV analyst Frank Sullivan has some answers. Five America East teams are in the top 50 in the country in field goal percentage defense. That's a coach's statistic. That's about contesting shots, ball pressure, defensive rebounding, and game planning on the defensive end. Very impressive. Is defense what earned Vermont a regular season championship? Well, overall with Vermont, it's been about consistency. If you look at the statistics for the last two years, you'll see Vermont has been either number one or number two in field goal percentage and field goal percentage defense. The system never changes. The players do. Great coaching job this year by Mike Lonergan. How about Boston University? They've gone on another late season run led by John Holland. Well, anytime you add nine new players to three and one of the three goes down, Jake O'Brien, nine plus two, it's going to take a while. As they enter the stretch run right now, Daryl Parton, DJ Irving, Dominic Morris, all real solid contributors to go with the great John Holland. Dark Horse, you got a candidate or two we can look at come tournament well, time? You've got to like the Black Bears. The main Black Bears have stumbled a little bit recently, but when you look at their body of work, what they did in the non-league season, what they did in the first half of the American East season, very impressive. Their body of work is really impressive and continue to lead the conference in scoring. How about one other team that may be farther down in the standings? Well, I think anybody, if you ask them, any of the coaches in this league, they will tell you, beware of Binghamton. Greer Wright has not been healthy. He is right now. Mohamed Javi, a great year for him. They could be real dangerous in an iffy game when the score is tied late in the ball game.
The women take center stage next. There are a handful of teams that can make a case for winning the championship. I told everyone, I was like, this is a, this is a nice feeling. <laughs> But at the same time, we still have games to go, and we can't, we can't let up. A closer look next on America East on campus.